Welcome back! Insulation tester model 1503. This is our topic for today. On board, we have a digital. This one is the Fluke insulation tester, and the one is analog. Let's start. This is our insulation tester. 1503. This is Fluke Digital Tester. This is used to determine the grounded equipments. This is the tester. This is almost new. Okay. The box, this is the quick guide. 1503 quick guide. This is the test probes or the test cables. Okay, we will try to use this one. This one, the red is for the positive. Also, it has included a manual. Quick guide. We will test to determine the voltage. Okay. Test a continuity. Then I'll show you the probe. This probe has a test button. Okay. Test button at the tip. Okay. We'll check. Okay. It's okay that is hung then also you can use this test button at the tester or in this probe it's almost the same select at 1000 volts okay the reading is almost zero Right now we will select to 500. Okay, the readout is 500. Okay. It also it also have a lock lock button. This is to lock the latest reading. This is the continuity. If you use the continuity, select to the continuity mode and then you can try. Okay. Our probe is good. Almost zero. Okay, this is the voltage voltage mode this so one we will change this probe 
the tip of the probe and then we have here a DC DC supply DC 24 volts right now we are here in electrical workshop okay this is 24 but the voltage supply is almost 27.6 DC then we'll check the back of this tester that's a lock we'll check the batteries what is the battery that is used to this tester simply unlock and then pull the cover okay as you can see this is the fuse you can access easily and then this is the battery for double a right now we need to test this one if this tester is correct this is one meg almost one meg potentiometer one meg potentiometer we will try first what is the reading 0.8 meg 0.8 meg it's almost okay almost 1 meg again okay clockwise 0.8 meg 0.8 meg if we turn other side clockwise almost okay almost there this one we will try to our insulation tester mode uh, insulation tester we select at 500 volts 0 0.8 meg means this is almost same same reading in our tester multi-tester but right now we draw again 500 volts and press the test button it's almost zero because this potentiometer I all I'll set to zero but if you set this to the maximum means 0.8 almost 0.89 then press the button 0.89 okay this value of potentiometer is almost 0.89 at 100 1000 volts 0 0.9 it's okay As you can see the voltage down below at the monitor of insulation tester is 1000 1000 plus and the reading is 0 0.9 meg almost good note this is not a sponsored for fluke this is the tester that we use only in our ship okay before we use this we need to check if this insulation tester is working 
but I'm sure this is working because this is new Okay, the potentiometer value right now is 0 0.92 next I will show you the the probe we need to focus note be careful about using this insulation tester because the this probe has a voltage as you can see there is a spark when I press the tester on and then see the spark I need to focus more focus I zoom in okay as you can see you can see the spark see means it has a voltage on it Draw a voltage. You must be careful about this. As you can see, there is a spark. See? The good about this probe, it has a safety because the test button is on the tip. Next, we try Act 1. This is a new overhaul motor. This is new overhaul. We need to change. Okay. We already changed the bearings. This is 440 Delta. IP55 test a heater 40 watts to 20 volts heater is 40 watts and to 20 volts there is no thermistor We will check this motor. I already checked this one, but for the actual testing, we need to show you. This is connected. Delta connection then this extra wire this is for the heater space heater sometimes in the other hole there is thermistor but right now this is only a heater this motor you can choose if you like to connect to Y or Delta. Okay, this is the heater and then the other side is for the thermistor but this type they don't include the thermistor. The maker of this motor is ABB.
Okay. Let's try this one. First, we will check continuity test to our probe. We will try. Okay, select to the continuity. Okay. Our probe is good. Okay. We will transfer it to 500 and 1000 volts. That's a level V that is for the insulation testing. Okay, that is the ground. We will set at 500 volts. Okay, we will try again probe to probe. Okay, almost zero. Then 1000, almost zero. Okay, it's good. The ground. Almost zero. The body, body of the motor, almost zero. Okay, almost zero. Right now, we will try to line one. Okay, it's good. Almost two, two thousand two hundred. It's good it's good line 1 line 2 line 3 it's totally good but if you test this motor if you test a one sample for a line 1 or line 2 or line 3 you need to wait a a time sample a example you have a time interval to stable the reading okay just for demonstration we will check all lines without delay without interval of the time but this but this motor free from low insulation I already tested Thanks for watching and don't forget to hit thumbs up, like and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell button for more updates. Thank you for watching.